so today we are going to do the tension bend wiring of the olecranon fracture this is the lateral x-ray of the right elbow and you can see this is the like two part fracture one is here is another one and here is another fragment and it's, there is a displacement so you can say like it's a simple transverse fracture of the olecranon or a little bit a bit combination of the cortex here and anterior cortex but most of the cortex is intact so that's why we are going for the tension bend wiring if there is any combination of the anterior cortex better to go for the plating and this is the ap x-ray of the olecranon fracture you can see this there is not much of the displacement here and so now i will take you through the surgical steps of the tension bend wiring of the olecranon so this is the incision mark for the olecranon fracture i have curved little bit laterally as the ulnar nerve on the medial side and we are doing the surgery in the supine position we have inflated the tourniquets so let's start the skin incision then let me drop this Generally, this surgery we have to do in the lateral positions, but we don't have the attachment. So, Pick up, please. There's only four centimeters we have to expose. So we have to make a thick flap. This is the medial side, so on the medial side there will be a ulnar nerve, but we will not go too much medial. So, this is the straightforward surgery. You can see this quadriceps tendon. And I can palpate the bone. We have to create the deep dissections. We have to release the muscles on the either side of the ulna. Let me expose the fracture, then I'll come back to you. So we have created the flap, and now we have 
release the medial and lateral side of the ulna to expose this is the ulna and this is the fracture side you can see clearly here now you have to just create it little bit it's not very much displaced so this is a fresh fracture so a little bit of anterior comminution is there which we have seen in the CT scan And this is the conical triangle, so hopefully it will get fit in the. Give me the alleys, please. is not very displaced also so, just remove this the gray this is the hematoma and this is the fresh injury Let me take the wash and then we'll come back to see it. So this was the fracture. You can see this is well aligned. For the compression, I just make drill bit 2 mm drill bit to holding the clamps. And you can see this now these are two parallel K wire has been put, which you can see in the CM also. And uh, now we are going to give the length this scale, please. Scale. So, marker. So generally, four centimeter down the line, we have to go for the blister mines, almost this one. So, we'll put the encircled wire. Give me the two mm drill with sleeve. So, this is the AP X rays, two parallel K wire after putting the K wire. Now you can see this, this is with the canal and it's parallel and holding the four fracture segments. So this is the wire I'm putting, or the check in the lateral position. Pointing towards the coronoid process. So as we have marked the four centimeter incision, uh, four centimeter marking for the drilling. And just five to six millimeter down, and just I'm going to drill with the it's two mm drill bit. So it should not be very superficial, otherwise chances of fracture is there. Circular. Can you give me the circular piece? So this circular piece. Around fifteen to twenty centimeter. This has been cut from here. Now the we are going to pass through the tendon of the triceps. Let's try with the cannula first. Whether you are able to do it or not, just kind of retract it here, please. So, this is a good technique, I think. So it will 
click on easily on the other side. So I think we have done it now. Give me the player, please. Generally, I am making only one knot. Some people are preferring to go for the second knot. and we will cut this one extra part of the wire wire cutter please Give me the impactor, please. Impactor. Stop. So we have cut this one, and now we are going to bend it. So just bend it. We have seen the and now we'll impact a little bit. Hold this. So we need some impactor. So now you can see the moment structure is well aligned and stable. You see this? And now we'll take a wash and close the muscles and skin. So this is the final x ray. You can see this articular surface is well aligned and K wire, tension band wire is in C2. And we have already checked the stability of the fracture. It's very stable fragment. So now we'll wash the wound and close the muscles and skin. Both are medial lateral aspect of the bone. Better to cover with the muscles, otherwise, it will cause the pressure on the skin. So, let's close it. And make it straight a little bit. Straight. Yes. So, let me put the couple of stitches. And then we'll see you back. So we have closed the muscles. You can see that there is no wires. You can see here it's fully covered by the muscles. So I don't think there'll be any pressure on the skin. Now I'm going to put the this is the rapid right way self-observable stitches. So in the future, no need to remove the stitches for the patient. So 
¿Listo? So, we are putting the cosmetic stitches here. Few stitches is remaining. After that, we'll do the dressing and we start immobilizing the patient immediately. So this is the final stitching and you can see the movement is perfect now. Scar will be also very less. So thank you for seeing this surgery.